Today, our champion, Bob Shepard of Beverly, Massachusetts, faces the challenge of Mike Marl of Framingham, Massachusetts, on Camel Pin Bowling. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Camel Pin Bowling. I'm Don Gillis, and I'm glad you could join us here at the Fairway in Natick for three strings of Camel Pin Bowling, total pinfall determining our winner. Each of our bowlers takes home a permanent souvenir provided by the Ace Trophy Company of Boston. And uh, more, interest, uh, more interest to them probably is the fact that uh, we have guaranteed prize money of $1,200. $700 goes to the winner, $350 goes to the runner-up, $50 available to the winner of each string. And obviously, should they tie, we split that at $25 apiece. There are other opportunities for our bowlers to make some bonus money. Most of you are familiar with them. I'll remind you as the program goes along. And this is the $50 gift certificate from True Value Hardware Stores and Home Centers that goes to our marksman of the day, the bowler with the most marks. All right, let's talk to today's bowlers instead of me just being up here by myself. Mike Morrow. It's been about a year and a half where you've been staying away from us, huh? No, I've seen you here watching, but I mean, uh, I'm talking about being here and... Uh, how are you doing lately? Pretty good. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, thinking all pretty good. Good. That's what I like to hear. As good as they were in '84. I hope so. I want to throw out the same place. And Is that right? Maybe Lightning will strike twice. Who can forget that 457? Huh? Yeah, wow. They nice. put you in the championship show. Yeah. Of course, you didn't go all the way for the big bucks no, that I time. Think but so. Twenty-five hundred dollars. Hey, pretty it good. Was a, it was, it was, it was a good, good Saturday, anyway. Very good. Okay, yeah. Bob, stop. The, you can come over here. It's all right. <laughs> After winning three in a row, really, you're welcome. <laughs> getting tough every week and nothing's easy you know yeah, yeah. makes a very good competitor you've been going downhill huh 404 400 <laughs> uh, like you said a win's a win <laughs> i know that and uh um, obviously uh it's so much different than the first time you came on and uh when uh, you were so disappointed in well, so and i enjoy this i don't blame you <laughs> well you know You've been a good bowler for a long time, and I've been hearing stories about how good you were in the past, even when you weren't on here. Well, that's, yeah, that's, yes, uh, yes. I don't know. <laughs> I like, well, don't you like to believe that? Sure, but, you know. <laughs> like I'm teasing you, you know that. <laughs> All right, good luck to you and okay, to you, Mike, you. and we'll get underway right after this. Well, today's challenger leading off on lane two here at the fairway. Leaves the seven pin alone over on the left and on the right. It's the six and ten. Gets the right hand side. He has a league average of 125 right now. And picks off the seven for a ten. Mike's high single 195, his high triple 475. And in winning his roll off, the five string roll off, he had a 679. One, three, and six. That's what remains. Just missed the head pin. Mike is employed as a computer operator. He's married and father of two sons. So a pair of ten. Now our defending champion, Bob Shepard. Bob from Beverly has won three in a row. Has the four horsemen left side. He made it. A little hesitation in the sense that the, the seven didn't go immediately. League average 130 for Bob Shepard. High single 215, high triple 488. Roll off score 672. Seven. And the three pins remaining, 247. And favorable wood just to the right of, and on a slight angle by the two. But he missed, he held it just too long. And by the time he released it, his arm had come forward too far so that he picked up the four and the seven, but not the two. Mm -hmm. 
Mike Morrow, today's challenger. Doing a little wood chopping. He's left five pins. Three, six, four, seven, eight. Got the three. Now he'll go for the four, seven, eight. And got two of them. So it's an eight box. Mike is a member of the 1989 World Team Champion, O'Loughlin Construction. And uh, the other members of that team are some familiar names to you. Go to the right side this time. Craig Holbrook, Don Richmond, Jack Sanek, Tom Osta, and Captain Bill Treeple. Nine. So Mike's still looking for his first mark. Bob Shepard already has one and a ten. Three, six, four, seven. Too bad, he went too far right, missed the three pin, got everything else. Spare seven and a pair of tens for a total of 37. Mike Marl, a pair of tens. And an eight in the first three boxes for 28. Here's a center diamond, which is obviously made up of the one, two, three, and five. He made it! So we take our first break and check on the scoreboard. With our defending champion Bob Shepard having a bonus ball still to be thrown, the score right now in pins already down is Shepard 47 and Morrow 37. Mike Morrow, our challenger. Two full on the head pin. He winds up with two, four, seven on the left and the three pin on the right. Piece of wood adjacent to it. He goes for it. Got the three, got the two, got the four, but the seven wouldn't go. Another ten. Tough split. Six and seven. Ralph Stewart, lobline judge and referee, goes down to take one pin that was this side of the Deadwood line, out of there. Let's see now, there's a piece of wood to the left of, and there's room for him to get in between. Maybe he can hit the six, hit the wood, and off. Nope. Too bad. Look for a moment as though he might be able to kick that over. Nine. Now Bob Shepard, our defending champion, he has the only mark so far, one in the first box, one in the fourth. And he's working on that one right now. This will be the bonus ball. Just three. Seven pin has a piece of wood in front of it. Four horsemen right side and also the five and nine. Missed the head pin, has left the one and the ten. And a 10. Oh. 
one six seven ten or if you prefer seven over on the left hand side and on the right the one the six and the ten wood between the one and the six got everything on the right wood rolling over to the seven hit it but didn't knock it down Challenger Mike Morrow looking for his first mark. Still winding up with some tough splits. He's got the seven alone over on the left, and on the right he has the six and ten. Got the six and ten. Seven still there. A ten. Now he has three, six, ten. Also the four and the eight. Yes, made it. Made it. First mark comes, and it was not an easy one. As I said, it was 3, 6, 10, 4, 8. Now, Bob Shepard. I mentioned earlier that uh, Mike Marl had been in one of our championship shows back in 1984. Bob Shepard now working on one, two, seven, ten, and three pieces of wood. They're favorable to the left side. But he did not hit number one. I did mention, as I said, Morrow being in a, a, a championship show. At the moment, Bob Shepard is third for our next one, but it's highly unlikely uh, based on the previous scores we've had that that will hold up he has a 404 ahead of him Gary Carrington with a 435 and Don Santiago with a 425 Spread Eagle other scores Biff Cardron and Death Klein are tied at 402 and Jack Sanek a 401 nice shot as he took out the right side of the Spread Eagle and also the seven pin remaining obviously two and four and a miss now Mike Morrow comes up with the first bonus ball and he gets a split he gets six, but he leaves over on the left the four seven, on the right the six ten. Got the six ten and the four, but the seven wouldn't go. Had a roadblock and he could not get that seven. 91 through nine. Can't seem to get the big hammer. One, three, and seven. Check that, that was five, nine, and seven. 
So it's a nine, and that brings him to an even 100. Bob dropped that one too soon. He's left with the four horsemen left side plus the uh, five, eight, and nine. Yes, there it is, it's the first strike, and Bob Shepard, our defending champion, gets it, that puts him at 106, with two bonus balls to roll. First ball gets him nine. The only pin standing to seven. One sixteen. So at the end of one, a sixteen pin lead, obviously, for our defending champion Bob Shepard. The well, champion the leads it off. Here's Bob Shepard. Bob has won three in a row. His league average 130, his high single 215, his high triple 488. One, four, seven, plus the six pin, no wood. And he leaves them all. Seven and the eight. Ralph Stewart calls time. He wants to check on one piece of wood to see if it is still behind the deadwood line. It is rolling back now and will be in play. Well, now it's rolling back this way, and he's observing it. Okay, it is behind the line. He indicates by about four or five inches. Seven and eight go down. Had very favorable wood. Now Mike Morrow. Wood scampered over to the one pin that was standing, the seven pin, but it wouldn't go down. Now the wood is up against it. So Mike starts off the middle stream with a spare. Bonus. Strike. Bob Shepard. Working on a spare. And gets five. Two, four, three, six, ten. Nail it! That's a beautiful spare. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow.
seven. Leaving the three, the four, and the seven. Got the three. And the wood that was behind it. Four seven still there. It's a nine. Mike Morrow comes up after a spare, followed by a strike. So two bonus balls coming up. First one gets him five. Leaves the one, three, six, four, seven. Too bad. Missed everything. So it's five for the fill. Now he'll be looking for the good out. And it's not too good as he hit only the head pin. So it becomes a six box and not much profit. Very close to another strike. He got everything except the kingpin, the five. And the one piece of wood, I can't say exactly that it was a roadblock, except that he just hit it in the wrong place and kicked it out of the way. And uh, it went one way and the ball went the other. And the five pin's still there. Bob Shepard led after one, 116 to 100. And right now, after four boxes of the second string, Mike Morrill is leading 51-47. Shepard, and he has on the right hand side six and ten with wood in front of it and over on the left the seven got the right side now you'll be working on that seven pin for a ten We had a home viewer winner last week of 1150 so our home viewer jackpot starts at $50 this week. Our Hilo jackpot is up to 450 They keep falling, and now he is left with the one and the seven. But he missed the head pin. The seven went after he hit a piece of wood and kicked it into it. And for a ten, he has it. A strike for Mike Morrow. He's opposite a pair of tens, so an opportunity to pick up some more. Didn't like that first ball. It got him six, but he had missed a head pin, which is what he didn't like. Now he's left with head pin plus seven, eight, ten. There are two pieces of wood. One is rolling toward the eight. The other is between the one and the ten. But that one that went near the eight is rolling back again now. He missed that head pin again and got just two of them. So the fill is eight. And again he missed it and leaves the one and the seven. Al Giglio is keeping score on the electronic scoreboard beside me. 
And Keith Williams keeping score on the big scoreboard for all the folks who are here. Don Riley, of course, is our statistician and coordinator. Bob Shepard has everything down except one pin. Ralph Stewart, our lob line judge and referee, in his usual spot. Bill Rubin, of course, is our producer and director. And Bob missed the single. Gets it for a 10. Today's crew, Dick Erickson, Roger Rice, Skip Peabody, Steve Colvin. And in post-production videotape, George Eller, Doug DeBitt. One, three, nine. That's what's standing. Nope. Missed the head pin. Got the three and the nine. Ralph Stewart calls time. And a hand for Ralph. Da -da 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 -da. The 1990 Massachusetts Bowling Association statewide tournament starts earlier this year, March 31st. Mike Morrow! Seven pin alone. On the right, six and ten with three pieces of wood around it. He flew it after getting the 6 and 10, but it went into the pit and didn't get it. Nine. The adult portion of the uh, state tournament features the open events and the finals, which you've seen here on Channel 5 in Boston. Mike has a legitimate spare leave now with the three and six. For a spare? Yes. Something new this year in the uh, state tournament is that there's the adult 100% handicap tournament because the 100% handicap for all bowlers supposedly is going to make all bowlers equal. And so there should be pretty good crowds. Youth events will start during vacation week in April. Mike Morrow! And he gets an eight as a fill. Wrong man, Donald. Five for Bob Shepard, Donald. Okay. Head pin again, he left. And he still leaves it there. Okay, the only other thing I want to remind you about the state tournament which unfortunately I was reading at the time when I should have been paying more attention to the board, uh, is to uh, head for your nearest NBA center for information and the entry blanks this month. Seven is the fill for Mike Morrow. Got all but the eight pin. For a 10. Too bad, spread eagle. Remember, he had to pick up 16. The deficit was 16. So 
he really wanted a mark here. And it is an eight. He picked up 10 of the 16 pins deficit, so he trails now by six, or if you prefer, Bob Shepard leads by, still leads by six pins. However, $50 in bonus money will go to Mike Morrow for winning the middle string. And the score after two is Shepard 227, Morrow 221. Players as our challenger Mike Morrow toes the line for the third string. He has a spare lead, three, six, ten with favorable wood. And he makes it. Worcester right side gets only two as he punches out the three and the nine. Now he's left with four, seven, six, ten. Wood in front of each of the combinations. Nice shot. It's for a 10. Defending champion, Bob Shepard. Three, six, 10 on the right, plus the eight pin, wood just to the left of the three. Six pin didn't go. Now it has for a ten. So the lead is now four. One piece of wood in front of the 610, but still standing, the 1, 7, and 8, plus the 6 and 10. Now the 1, 7, and 10 still there. That high-low jackpot is worth $450. It's a 7, so... Mike has picked up three, and it is now one pin separating the two bowlers. Kind of a thin hit by Mike Morrow. He has the one, two, six, seven, eight, ten. Seven and ten still there. Everything down except the kingpin, the five. Going for it. He's got it. Now our defending champion. And at the moment, he leads by one. He's going to work on a diamond. It'll be the left side. It's the two, four, five, and eight. Yep, 
Diamond wins again. A nine. So it remains one pin. the four horsemen up and they just tumble down and now he has only the seven pin to work on and he has a piece of wood right up against it what a nice feeling when you go down you think all of a sudden you're going to have the four horsemen and they start tumbling like dominoes so he made the spare and so it's a one pin deficit and each bowler has made a spare in the fourth Here's Mike Morrow's spill, and it is a thin one. Just four. He's got the four horsemen plus the eight and nine. He's got everything except the nine. A ten. got a triangle to work on over on the right hand side and these always look easy but we know they're not this one is made up of the six nine and ten he got it He can add to his lead because Mike filled only with a four. So our defending champion, Bob Shepard, he gets a pretty good one. He gets, uh, he gets eight. So his lead is up to five. And he has another mark, opposite of 10. Worcester, left side, punching out two and eight. Right down the same spot. Oh, so obviously he's facing everything except the two and eight, which he's punched out of there. He goes to the right side and he leaves four pins so it's a six box now Mike Morrow working on a spare and Mike gets five but it's going to be tough to convert because it's four horsemen left side and the nine pin no wood Almost pulled it off. Concentrating on getting that nine, he went for the domino effect by going to the right side of that number one. He has it. Almost left one. Left the two pin. Will he get it now? No! Went to the left of it instead of right on it. That's a big miss. A very big miss. This time he gets it. So a pair of tens is what Mike got when he wanted marks. Uh, 
Bob Shepard promoted. It appeared like he was going to have the picket fence to 7, 8, 9, and 10, but the 10 went down. He still has 7, 8, and 9 with three pieces of wood that he will be trying to use right now. And he got everything but the 7. Made the 10. Still a two-pin lead in the match for Mike Morrow. Bob Shepard opposite a 10 box. Big hit, spare leave, and it looks good. He's got four and seven with wood in front of it. Yes, he has it. That's a big mark. Now, Mike, with a two-pin lead, finds that he, uh, the two-pin lead will probably be probably erased. But he comes up with a strike in the ninth. First bonus ball. He gets five. However, he still has three across the back, the seven, eight, and ten, plus the three and six. No! He has missed the three. So seven is the fill. He has three, six, seven, and... He's a, a nine. 116. 110 to tie. 111 to win. Eight. 90. both of these and a 10 or if he doesn't get it then he'll have to mark he doesn't get it now he must mark he must mark he needs a 110 to tie a 111 to win to make the spare he has the one three and ten and he has one piece of wood that's rolling around but it's not between the one and the three the other piece is off to the left so let's see if he can make it there'll be a roar if he makes this one he has to do it if he's going to win he has to do it right now he did not get it mike morrow is the winner He also picks up $50 for winning uh, the, the third string. By two pins, Mike Morrow, 337, Bob Shepard, 335. 82. Go way down the bottom here somewhere and dig one out. This comes from uh, Worcester, Massachusetts, and uh, Malden Street. William J. Bloom. His guess is 618. <laughs> so it goes now to 100. Mike, you have first try. Bob? No. Okay, 
Bob, I recall that uh, we said a win is a win is a win. That's true. <laughs> and you were the winner at that particular time. You've had uh, a good month with us, uh, three, three wins. And, and I know one thing you wanted to do was to take that 404 and add about 30 pins to sure. it. <laughs> I know you did. But anyway, it was great having you. You're a fine bowler, and uh, don't stay away, will you? $350 in bonus money. I, I mean, 350 for being runner-up, $50 in bonus money. Trophy from the H Trophy Company. And by one, you had the... Uh, the, 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 the Donald, speak straight, will you? Uh, you had more marks, so you're the marksman of the day. It was nice having you. Thank you, Don. Okay. Michael? There you are, and you get the 700 and you also get the $100 in bonus money, and as a reward, we're going to give you Steve Reno next week. <laughs> <laughs>